Hi there, it's Dr. Kathleen Cannon, and we are kicking off this vitamin alphabet series with vitamin A. As a note before we get started, everything included in these videos is for general educational informational purposes. Nothing is a recommendation for you. Uh, you should always check with your healthcare practitioner before you make any supplement adjustments or start any new supplements, etc. All right, so vitamin A. Uh, so vitamin A in the active form is known by a few different names. Um, retinol, retinol, retinyl palmitate, and retinoic acid. Um, there's many other forms of vitamin A. Those are some of the active forms. Um, and what active means is those are the forms that your body can use most easily. Uh, so easiest to kind of just take up and get started with using for your body. Uh, so vitamin A is involved in a lot of different processes and pathways in your body. It's most well known for being involved in your vision health and your skin health, but it's also involved in your immune system's functioning. It's involved in your reproductive health. Um, it's involved in your thyroid health. It's involved in uh, different metabolic processes and also your cellular health. So it's really pretty important. There's two general sources of vitamin A, plant sources and animal sources. Animal sources of vitamin A uh, tend to provide what we call um, preformed vitamin A, and it's more of the retinol, that active form um, that we get from animal sources. Plant sources provide what we call pro-vitamin A, which has to be converted to a more active form. Um, some plant sources um, are carotenoids, which is a great big group of compounds that have a lot of powerful antioxidant activity. Beta carotene is the most well-known of the carotenoids, and it's that pigment that can kind of give you an orangey hue if you eat too many carrots, uh, just for example. Um, lutein and zeaxanthin are two other compounds that are pretty well known in vision supplements. Uh, so you may have heard of those. Those are also types of carotenoids with some really great benefits. Vitamin A deficiency is going to impact the pathways that use vitamin A, not surprising there. Um, but uh, it can, if severe, vitamin A deficiency can lead to blindness, which is seen in children in some developing countries when their vitamin A levels are very low. Um, other less severe vitamin, vitamin A deficiencies can contribute to recurrent infections, um, to changes in the skin health and in hair follicles and growth, um, can contribute uh, also to changes in appetite um, and actually impaired growth um, in general. And vitamin A deficiency can also be a factor with things like microcytic anemia. Testing for vitamin A to find out, you know, does your body have enough vitamin A? Is it at an appropriate level? Um, testing for vitamin A is pretty straightforward. We can just do a simple blood test to determine the concentration of vitamin A in your body. That is not the case with a lot of vitamins, but with vitamin A, that is the case. Uh, so that makes it pretty, pretty nice to test in that way. Food sources of vitamin A, um, animal sources include organ meats, eggs and dairy and other animal products, and Plant sources include a lot of those uh, really deeply, darkly pigmented veggies, especially the orange ones with beta carotene, like carrots and sweet potatoes and pumpkin, but also other deeply pigmented veggies. Spinach is a great example. Um, and vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, which means that uh, it's stored in fat. So to help your body take up vitamin A and use it, absorb it, um, it helps if you eat it with a a healthy fat. So for example, if you're having a roasted sweet potato, drizzle some olive oil over the top of it. Um, vitamin A, because it is fat soluble, it can be stored and can accumulate and can uh, lead to toxicity actually. So it is something to be cautious with, to be careful with and to talk with your healthcare provider about. Um, and it can also be teratogenic. So if you are planning to become pregnant or you are pregnant, you need to be careful with vitamin A. It is very important, um, but it also needs to be done appropriately uh, if you're supplementing. So always talk with your doctor about what the, the, best, um, the best levels and dosages and things like that are for your body, what you need as an individual. I hope this has been informative and served you on vitamin A. May you be well.